What's up guys? Welcome back. And today I am in Soul A and I'm killing some fire goblins. Right next to the zone line here. So this is the zone line to Soul B. I don't know this area well at all. My friend I'm talking to now, Reams, is I've been playing with him since the very beginning of Project 1999. And he kindly showed me his little secret area. I'm not sure how secret it actually is, but it's a fantastic spot to solo. There's, I'm gonna, I'll add another little section to this video afterwards that explains the area a little bit better because I've only been here for a little while. But I am level 33 and I was kind of stinging for a ZEM, an experience modifier, like a dungeon or something because Guck was so, so kind to me. <laughs> and he, yeah, my friend, said this was the place to be and he was totally right this is a really cool spot so there's a few types of goblins there are young goblins cinder this is in order of how difficult they are there's young goblins cinder goblins uh flame goblins and then fire goblins i might have those two mixed up i should have snared him because you don't want him to go into that room so fingers crossed Ugh. Oh no, this could be bad. Oh no, okay, cool. Yeah, that was really stupid of me. There's usually two spawns in here and you don't really want to get them if you can avoid it. So yeah, there are young, cinder, flame, fire, and inferno goblins. So in my level range, which is obviously 33, I think about level 31 to 36, you want to stick to the fire and flame goblins. And you can add an Inferno Goblin into the mix as well. Uh, so the zone line to Salt A is just back here. I found this is a safe spot to just uh, take him down. Because there's two spawns in this room. One roamer, he roams from in there to out there. There is one goblin that spawns right there. There's one goblin that spawns right here. He should spawn in a moment. And then there is one that's... I feel like there's one that's sometimes there as well. And one here. And then two in here. There's a flame and there's an inferno. So the inferno con's blue. I think he's about level 30. The flame con's actually high blue or green. And he is probably level like 26 or something. So it's a cool area. Once you've done, once you've finished up the spawns, which would be about eight goblins. I usually run back to the zone line, med up, and by the time I'm full mana, they've all respawned again. You do want to keep on top of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do want to keep on top of these spawns, because there's either two or three that spawn in here. I think one's the Roma, but sometimes there's three in here, and it's way better if you can just grab them one by one. Um, and then, yeah, I have noticed I've been in here, I only just got here, but I guess that was two nights ago. I haven't been playing that much. But, um, yeah, there does seem to be a lot of high level people in here just farming these goblins because they drop this, they drop, uh, these ore blocks. And, yeah, ever since the Sea Fury nerf, which nerfed the, uh, how often they drop gems and stuff like that. A lot of people are starved with Platinum and this is what they've been doing instead. It's pretty annoying. I was talking to someone earlier that was really nice and, and, and left, which I thought was appropriate considering they're not getting experience for this. Um, but yeah, these block of high quality ore, they sell for 50 plat to a merchant. They're very heavy, so you definitely want weight reduction bags. And they also sell, uh, drop these small brick of high quality ore. And I think they sell for about 5, 10 plat. So worth picking up. And they do drop fine steel weapons too. Uh, I'm thinking someone may have pinched this goblin. Because I had that timed pretty perfectly. I'll give it another few moments. Because <laughs> knowing my luck, I'll pull the one in here. Oh, okay, here we go. There's a wizard. See, these are actually a pain in the ass, so let's... I'll show you how I do these guys. Oh, cool, okay, I resisted it. 
But I treat these almost like the trance in South Karana because they hurt. Oh, okay. Oh shit, I shouldn't have bashed there. Um, yeah, they hit for 149. They also have a DD that hits for 100. I'm gonna... This is where my necklace comes in handy. My snare necklace. So the snare landed on him, because at 20% they run. <laughs> at 20% they run. Uh, he doesn't seem to be running. Oh cool, look, see they drop those as well, these flame A-gates or whatever they're called. They actually sell, oh, here's, here's another wizard. They actually sell for about 8 plat. So they do drop, look, they drop topazes and amber and stuff. So, you know, a couple of other cool things. But yeah, these wizards are pretty nasty. So I usually... Oh, what the fuck. They've been doing this. You see? I learned that the hard way. I nearly died last night. Just sometimes they just appear on this roof above. Oh, cool. Resisted that. So, I do have slam. All large races have slam. It hits for one damage <laughs> if it hits and it interrupts. So, if I'm not feeling trigger happy, I hopefully save that for when they cast. But yeah, this guy's going down. I do have this bound to Q, my, uh, my little region symbol of Inuric. Just so I don't have to click it. There we go. Slam. See, look. Casting interrupted. It's going to cast it again, but maybe I'll get my cast off first. Oh, he dispelled. What did he dispel? I don't know. Cool. So that was a pretty good result. A carnelian. What do they sell for? I think they're crap, aren't they? They're like 9 gold. Yeah, so I'm going to play it safe at the moment, just because I really don't want to die. I'm really close to level 34. And I don't want to do a double pull that involves a Inferno. Just because dying would really piss me off <laughs> at the moment. So, it looks like Rocket Banana has just died himself. So, yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys. I'm going to get level 34 and I'll get my pet spell. So once I've done all that, I'll, start, I'll hit record again. And show you what this area is like with a pet because it's going to make it a lot easier okay cheers guys thanks for tuning in hey guys welcome back so i got to level 34 finally killing those stupid goblins <laughs> and now i'm in lava storm mountains i just gated back grabbed all my spells ran all the way to west common lands sorry not west common lands west karana to get my uh, companion spirit spell so here's Lava Storm Mountain. Soul A is that little tunnel there. Soul B is that tunnel there. And then the temple is this tunnel here. Oh, am I gonna make that? Nope. Yeah, so I got my pet and I'm gonna go grab my reclaim energy item. So I picked up these items really, really easy actually. The only one that was tough was the shovel. I picked up it in East Common Lands for, I think, 70 platinum. You can farm one yourself if you'd prefer to do that. It drops in like Sazic Thule or a few other zones, but it's super rare and it's pretty annoying to get, so I would just buy it. Strangely enough, I just crashed when I zoned, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. I think I'm going to shrink just because I know this is going to be annoying if I don't. So I'm looking for an NPC called Vera. And I think I know where she is. So anyway, the yeah, the items you need, as I said before, the the shovel. Buy that in EC. Uh, there, are, there are actually four magician... This is a magician quest. And the effect is reclaim energy. So when you have a pet out, doesn't matter what class you are, assuming you summon that pet, you can click this item and reclaim all the mana back. Just depending on how much HP they have. If they have full HP, you'll get all the mana back. So any class can use this.
There's four types, but I've always thought the shovel one is the easiest one because the other components are super easy to get. So the shovel I got from EC for, yeah, I think I paid 7,500 plat, something like that. And then you need a gargoyle eye. I got that in Castle Mistmore. There, you can find them on vendors. That's really easy to get. Hill Giant Toes. I just killed a Hill Giant on my Druid on Pickin. Got it in like two kills. Otherwise, you can find them on vendors. Really easy to get. Or people will give them to you. And then the other part is a Ruby. So the Ruby is sold at a jewel crafting merchant for... Uh, I think about 135, 140 platinum. So apart from... Hmm. Apart from um, the shovel, everything else is super easy to get. Indifferently, indifferently. Yeah, I'm glad I did it. Yeah, I, I'm glad I shrinked in here because this place seems like a nightmare. Ah, there she is, Vera. Elemental summoning, she's the one. So you hand in these four items. I've done this before so on, a, on a shaman, so I'm not worried she's gonna eat these up. I mean, there is still a part of me. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, I was so confident. Oh shit, okay, I... <laughs> fuck. Okay, I'm going to figure out what just went wrong there and I'll be back. Hey guys, so I just worked out what, what went wrong. So I had the three, the three items were correct. The ruby, the hill giant toes, and the, what was the other thing? The gargoyle eye, they were correct. The shovel, which I bought in EC, was the wrong sort of shovel. So whoever bought, whoever sold me that shovel, it, I can't remember who it was. I wish I bought it today because I would have his name. But they totally knew what they were doing because they sold me a shovel, as in a weapon. Like if you if you rewind this video, when I click the the shovel, you can see it has a damage and delay ratio, which means it's like you know it's like a weapon shovel. But the shovel you need is just an item, it's just called shovel. And it doesn't have damage delay ratio or anything, you can't equip it, it just sits in your bag. So, I mean, I'd like to think the person who sold it to me didn't know, but I have a feeling they did, I don't know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, <laughs> but I just told my friend Boopy, he was excited for me to get that thing, as was I. And he said, no, fuck that. Let's go and get a shovel. So we're heading to Najina now. He's like a level 55 shaman. So we're heading to Najina now to rectify this. So I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> All right, yeah. So Boopy pretty much cleared the whole place in five seconds. And a broom has dropped uh, one of these. So as I was saying before, there are four different types. There's a broom, torch shovel and one other one I can't remember but the broom they all do the same thing they just call different things they make a difference if you are actually a magician but if you are a shaman there it is it doesn't really matter so yeah that's really awesome I'm glad that that worked out thank you Boopy if you're watching this you're a fucking legend mate thank you because that was very disappointing. <laughs> I'm glad I recorded that though. I was so confident. So the other three things I need, uh, I need a griffin feather from uh, any griffin. I might jump on my druid to do that. And then I need cyclops toes. They're seriously easy to get. And I need a star ruby, which is actually only 60 platinum from a jewelry merchant. So even cheaper. So I'll record. In fact, I'll, I'll go and grab the griffin stuff and I'll record that on my druid so you can see that. Okay, cheers guys. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back. I'm in Wraith Mountains on my Druid and I killed about 20 Griffins in North Karana. I finally got the Griffin Feathers that I need. And now I need Cyclops Toes and I need a Star Ruby. So I think this guy sells Star Rubies and I'm praying this area 
we'll have some Cyclops toes on the merchants. Ruby. Okay, he doesn't sell Star Ruby. That's Hill Giant toes. No Cyclops toes. There you go, Cyclops toes. Nine plat. Screw it, I don't even care. Okay. Cool. I need a Star Ruby. I don't think any of these guys... Nah, they don't look like they do. Cool, so that's three of the four items I need. Inky, what do you got? No Star Ruby. No Star Ruby. I like that outfit. And that's a, I don't think I've ever seen that face before. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, there is one that I know of in Western Commerland. So I'll go and grab the Star Ruby and I'll transfer these Cyclops Toes, the Griffin Fellas, and the Ruby over to my Shaman and <laughs> we'll try turn in number two. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm back for round two. <laughs> Oh, this is the next evening. I ran out of steam last night. Uh, so I do have the items I need, the correct items I need. I have a Star Ruby. I have Cyclops Toes, Griffin Feathers, and a Broom. So these were really easy to get. Really, really easy to get. Okay, it all just depends on which one of these you get. If you're doing this as a Shaman, because we also got a Steen or a Stein or however you say that. But that one's actually really annoying to get. You need to get mermaid scales and something else. I can't remember. That's kind of annoying. You need ice giant toes, which are more annoying to get. Uh, so yeah, the broom or the shovel are definitely the easiest. Let's see if I can remember how to actually do this. Last time I kind of just found it by mistake. Lord Seerfire. Okay. I think I go in here. And then she's out here yeah cool that's probably an easier way I don't know how to I don't know all right round two let's find out if this if she chooses this up as well I'm gonna be pretty pissed off <laughs> okay Cyclops toes star ruby griffin feathers a broom there we go broom of Trillon so I can't actually equip it you'll notice it's mage only so these items are designed for mages. The broom is air, the shovel is earth, the torch is fire, and the um, the steen is the other one. Uh, water, I guess? Yeah, that makes sense. And they do make your pets more effective. I think they increase their attack and maybe their HP or something, so they're definitely worth getting if you're a mage. They're more important to get than gear, actually, is what I've heard. You can basically be a naked mage, but as long as you have your your focus item, then you're good. But they're great for shamans as well, so I'll, sh I'll show you what they do. So this is my level 34 pet spell. I haven't actually casted it yet. And what you can do is click the broom and reclaim it. So I'll show you. Gara, sorry mate. You're... You only exist to die. <laughs> so I'm going to put that there. Let's take Levitate off. Um, so Gary, you'll see I'm at 61% mana. I did fizzle once, so I guess this costs about, what, 300 mana or something? 350 mana. And when I click this, you don't get the whole thing back, but you get more or less the whole thing back. So I got about 300 mana back. So there's lots of ways, there's lots of reasons why this is a great item to get as a Shaman. Number one, the probably the most obvious reason is when you're logging out, you can just reclaim your pet and then when you log back in, you're going to have some extra mana, which is going to be handy. Also, if you're zoning or if you're in a place where you're going to lose your pet, like you're gating, you're zoning, you're getting a teleport, something like that, you just reclaim your pet and then when you uh, 
you'll, yeah, you'll get all that mana back, which is handy. And then another thing, I've never actually done this, but another one, if you've got a pet out and you're in a pinch, you can just reclaim the pet really quick just to grab 30% mana. Say you need to root something or, you know, shit's going downhill, you need mana to gate, whatever. It's a good way of grabbing extra mana. And some people just have the pet out as kind of like a, ma a mana bank. Like they just leave the pet, guard the pet somewhere, go and do whatever they've got to do. And then when they need extra mana, they just reclaim the pet. So it's a really cool item to have. I, on my original Shaman ages ago, I got this at like level 50 and kind of wished I got it straight at level 34. So I wanted to make an effort to get it at level 34. So yeah, that's going to come in handy. I mean, it's not, it's not like going to change the way you play the character, but it's definitely a cool thing to have. Now let's see if I can find my way out of here. I think it's this way. Yeah, cool. And so I'm going to run back into Soul A and kill some more golems with my new pet. So, cheers guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs> and yeah, a quick shout out to my friend Fatbird, he's a fan of the show. <laughs>